My name is Dave Morrow. Nine months of each year, I live out of my vehicle. I travel the wilderness by foot on an endless backpacking and landscape photography trip. I want to teach and share the photography and outdoor skills that I use on these trips. I don't want to spend hours editing video or sitting in front of a computer, so I made some rules. First, everything shot on GoPro. This was the best way I found to record quickly on a consistent basis. Second, I can only spend 20 minutes editing each video. So thanks for watching and welcome to the Landscape Photography Journals. So today I want to talk about fear because I think in my life fear has played a larger part than any other mental thought process that I can think of. So whenever you're going towards things you want to go towards, and I think this will prove true for anybody, but whenever you're getting after it every day, when you're working on projects that really matter to you, when you're driving towards goals that really matter to you more than anything in the world, I'm scared shitless every day when I wake up. I can feel it in my gut when I wake up. I'm like, oh man, today could be the day that you fail at your project. Today could be the day that your company stops making money. Today that could be the day that you get hurt out in the wild. Any of that, it all depends on the scenario. When I feel that, I just sit back kind of a little bit from my mind and I say, okay, that fear is just a thought you're having. Evolution put that thought into the human mind. It built it in there by natural selection to say humans that had a fear of things are more likely to survive in the wild because they could foresee all these different scenarios unfolding. Maybe an animal attack, maybe not getting food for their family, anything else maybe 20, 30, 40,000 years ago that the human brain had to worry about. But these days that fear doesn't need to be listened to 99% of the time but I would say it's holding back 99% of the population from doing things that they really want to do on a daily basis. Because they can think out all these pathways of fearful things that will happen to them if they try what they're really concerned about. They can think of all these pathways of ways they could possibly fail down the road. So they're just frozen still, like they saw that wild animal 50,000 years ago, and they can't budge because that fear is just paralyzing them in place. So what I do when I have fear, when I wake up with a knot in my stomach and I'm like, ah, this project means so much to me. This trip means so much to me. I just step back and say, you exist now because somebody in your lineage had fear built into their brain or their mindset. You don't need to listen to that fear, but it can be a directional compass. And if you go right towards it, if it's something that's not actually dangerous, then that can be a great way to start going after things that truly mean a lot to you. Because if you look at your life, at least when I look at mine, things that I don't give a shit about, I don't ever get scared about. But things that I truthfully care about and I'm working at really hard, I'm always fearful that I'll fail at them. So if you don't have anything dangerous going on in your life, if you're not living out in the African savanna, take a look at the fear you're having on a daily basis and say, am I having this fear because something bad could actually happen? Or am I just scared because this was built into my mind 40,000 years ago and it's still kind of an old operating system that I haven't learned to jump out of yet. So what I've noticed over time is I've dealt with a lot of fearful things and they've never happened. So four years ago I quit my job to do photography full time. I was scared shitless. I'm four years later, I'm fine. The fear never happened of all the bad things that I thought were going to happen. I go out on these long backpacking trips where I'm out in the wild, middle of nowhere, no cell phone service, 10, 15 days at a time, nobody else. Every time I leave, I get anxious, I get fearful. Then I complete the trip, I'm safe, I get back, and I'm like, yeah, I crushed it again. So over time, all these things that you were scared of, you eventually get past, and then you can look back on all these instances and you're like, okay, I've been fearful of every single one, and all the different fearful thoughts of failure that I had never actually happened. So now I'm able to look at fear more and more, and although I still have it, I can kind of look at it and not give it the credit that it might want. And say, okay, there's that thought again, who cares? So long as I go towards what I need to do, so long as I'm creative constantly and working towards pushing my photography to the next level, I don't need to worry about that fear because all the different thoughts that it's bringing to my mind aren't gonna happen. 
Sometimes they might happen and I might fail, but I trust in myself to solve the problems and push forward again. So trust in yourself, having confidence in yourself is the number one key to kind of pushing that fear aside and constantly going towards things that really matter to you. Look at your fear, go towards it, and just crush it. Do what you want every day. Work hard at things that really matter to you. Quit everything else, all the meaningless bullshit in your life, all the noise, and go directly towards the things that matter. You will wake up every morning with a lot of fear. Crush the fear, go towards what you want to do. Don't stop and repeat it every single day, and I guarantee within a year, you'll be places that you never thought possible. I know that was the case for me, so hopefully that helped you guys out. Enjoy the day, guys. I will see you later. Bye.